tonight. We're here with the Sony Xperia Z Ultra GPE version. This is a video that I'm making for the Carbon ROM. I've been working a little bit with the, with the developer of the Carbon ROM. Um, make a long story short, I would flip the phone over so that you guys can see that this is the actual GPE version of the Sony Xperia Z Ultra. Uh, and the way that you know that is when you flip the phone over on the backhand side, there is no Xperia logo back there. Uh, the only thing that you see on the back side is just the word Sony, and then you see the NFC icon on the back of the phone. However, being that this is a screen record, I'm going to go into the settings, and we're going to About Phone. And as you can see, the build number, uh, Carbon Tagari GPE. I've had this for about 10 minutes, and so far this is my favorite ROM. This is the last ROM that I've tested. Uh, I tested the CM11, and CM11 ROM, I was unable to receive phone calls. I take that back. I was unable to answer incoming phone calls because the screen would not function. I was not able to, uh, I wasn't able to, to play with the screen at all. Turn the phone off, turn the phone back on. I should say turn the screen off, turn the screen back on. Nothing worked on CM11 so that I could receive my phone calls and answer them. I could place calls, uh, still wasn't able to answer them. Uh, I was unable to send or receive multimedia messages on CM11. Now with this ROM on Carbon, uh, this is my favorite out of the three. And as far as I'm aware, there's only three ROMs available for the GPE version of the Sony Xperia Z Ultra. There's this one, uh, there's the third one whose name I, I can never remember. I think it's Liquid Smooth. Yeah, it is, it's Liquid Smooth. And then there's a CM11. CM11 gave me the biggest headache, which is strange to me, considering I'm under the impression that Carbon and Liquid Smooth both are based off of CM11. Now, that's an assumption on my part. I don't actually know if that's true. But uh, in any event, this is the GP version. The reason I like Carbon so much is it is very smooth. Um, I wouldn't say that it's smoother than the other two. Uh, what sets carbon apart for me is the fact that I can uh, go from dark carbon to uh, to light. I'm going to show you that here in a second. So here, this is the typical uh, non-themed, and I, I say it's themed, but carbon calls it turning carbon on or turning carbon off. But uh, to me, it's it's kind of a theme. And as you can see, it's all white and, and bright, and I'm I'm not a big fan of that. I don't I don't like all that crap. So if we go back into settings, we will turn dark carbon back on. And you can, you, this is another thing that I like about carbon. Like, like I stated earlier, there's so many things you can customize that I don't have to sit there and mess with, uh, with any of the uh, build prop versions. I don't have to do any of that because it's all kind of baked in here. So we've got carbon turned back on. And as you can tell, everything's dark. It's nice. And you guys may know this already because you guys may have uh, played with Carbon before on a different phone. This is my first time ever using Carbon ROM on any phone. In any event, uh, basically what Carbon Dark does is it just makes everything very, very black and uh, black and white. Now, I'm a huge fan of that. Another thing is the Carbon Fibers, which I played a little bit with it since I've been, I've been using this for 10 minutes. The only thing I, I can't figure out is this Pi Trigger option. I'm a huge fan of Pi. I don't like these buttons down here that you see me highlighting on. I don't care for that. These soft menu buttons. It's typical, uh, typical Android 4.4.2 here. Um, so if I want them to go away, basically, all these buttons down here, I would prefer for them not to be here at all, so that I can just use Pi. And you'll see Pi in a second, in case you don't know what Pi is. But uh, I like to trigger my Pi from the bottom. But when I go up. Uh, nothing, nothing happens. Uh, there's, there's no trigger, but if I go and turn on trigger left side, as you can see, Pi Control does work here on the left hand side. Uh, it worked very good. Same thing with the right side, which I tested earlier, but if you guys can help me figure this out, uh, I know that I can go into what part of, I think it's my build.prop, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see here. Okay, no, come on. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, terminal emulator. I can go into terminal emulator. 
Okay, so my, my last video, well, actually the first video and last video, uh, it got cut off after five minutes. I think there's only a, a five minute limit on the screen recording. But uh, long story short, uh, I'm here to make another another video. It's going to be a final review video. And uh, I did mention earlier that, uh, at least in the thread, on the, the GPE thread for Carbon ROM, I mentioned that uh, media volume was not playing on YouTube, and it wasn't playing on the on the music, but uh, it is in fact now playing. No idea, no idea what I've done uh, to get it to work again, other than I was checking Bluetooth to make sure that Bluetooth streaming was working, and uh, it started working after that. So uh, everything is working great. Uh, I've got no complaints on this ROM whatsoever. And I'll just go back to the settings and show you guys again that this, this is the uh, unofficial Carbon Tugari GPE. Increase my screen brightness here. All in all, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm stoked about this. This is my favorite ROM by far. And that's mostly due to the uh, the carbon fibers here. Oh, I figured out Pi. That's what I was having issues with. Uh, I figured out Pi by turning off the navigation bar. Pi now works, as you can see. Pi's working good. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed the videos. Uh, if you want me to review anything else, just give me a shout.